With the OnePlus 8 series, the company went for a traditional regular and pro model lineup. But for the OnePlus 8T, the semi annual refresh, it's gone for something a little bit different. It's launched a phone that doesn't really look like it belongs in the OnePlus 8 series at all. For me, the OnePlus 8T is more of a OnePlus Nord Pro. But that's not a bad thing. Not at all. I'm Cam Bunton from Pocketlint, and this is our unboxing and review of the OnePlus 8T. Looking at a OnePlus phone, at least from the back, has been one relatively obvious way to determine which company's phone it is you're looking at. There was the telltale long camera protrusion right in the centre of the phone, even as all the other manufacturers in the world started pushing them off to the left corner, and then eventually building big rectangles there. Now that's no longer the case, the 8T has seen OnePlus follow the market trend, sticking its quad camera system in a protruding oblong. If there's any discerning feature, it's perhaps the colour. Like the Nord and the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro before it, the OnePlus 8T has a teal version, or as OnePlus likes to call it, aquamarine green. It's not frosted glass like its predecessor though, it's got a glossy surface, yet somehow still retains an almost frosted appearance added by the layers beneath the glass. Because of that, it offers the illusion that there's no fingerprint smudges, but you will see those if you point it directly at a light source. Size-wise, the 8T is pretty big, but not enormous. It's similar in thickness to the iPhone 11, but it's slightly longer than that device. It does feel relatively comfortable in the hand, however, thanks to it featuring curved glass near the edges on the rear of the phone. Now, one design choice we're quite fond of is the design of the bezel around the screen on the front. The black frame around the display is so slim that it just allows the panel to dominate the space, making you more immersed in the content. Apart from the small camera cutout in the corner, there's nothing obstructing your view. Now, the flat screen might make the design seem a little bit boring or less elegant to some, but it has its practicalities. The display itself is really good, it's completely flat so you don't get any distortion around the edges and there's no risk of accidental touches. It's vibrant and really bright. Most of the time it just looks great. It features Full HD Plus resolution and is capable of 120Hz refresh rate and that means animations on screen within the interface are really smooth. In its default setting, colours appear well balanced without over-egging the reds or the greens. You can adjust the balance of colours and temperature to suit your own preference anyway, and OnePlus also offers calibration options within its settings menu to make it more or less vivid or choose a standard colour gamut like sRGB or Display P3 modes. If there's any criticism, it's that sometimes the images look a bit too contrasty, but a little edge taken off the contrast would help some colours appear less dark and crunched. As for performance, the OnePlus 8T feels very fast, and that's something we've become accustomed to with OnePlus. They'll generally use the most powerful hardware available at the time, and in this instance that means the Snapdragon 865 processor, which brings with it, of course, 5G support. But the end result, understandably, is a fast and fluid experience. Part of it is obviously down to the optimizations within the software, but of course, it still needs the processing power to make it load games and apps quickly and thermal cooling to ensure it doesn't get blazing hot. So when you're loading games, either to slay baby Luigi in Mario Kart Tour or destroy your rivals in Call of Duty, it'll do so quickly and effortlessly. But one of the most freeing things about the OnePlus 8T is actually its charging. It's equipped with something called Warp Charge 65, which is like Warp Charge 30, but better. With this phone, there's no such thing as battery anxiety. It delivers 65 watts of power to the 4,500 milliamp hour battery in order to fill it up really quickly. To be more accurate, it's actually delivering 32 and a half watts of power to two individual 2,250 milliamp hour batteries simultaneously. With this phone, there's no need to be a nighttime charger, ever. It can get you from zero to just over 60% in just 15 minutes. That's not a typo. It really is that fast. 
But on to the cameras now, and OnePlus devices of recent past have had multi-camera systems where one camera outshines the others. And the same is true of the OnePlus 8T. It's got a quad camera system which as a whole isn't quite flagship level. The primary camera is the best of the bunch, as you'd expect. Results from it in good light are generally sharp, colourful and balanced. Even if, like the display, there's a tendency to over-egg the contrast a tiny bit. If it was a single camera phone, we'd be perfectly happy with the results on offer. When you switch to the ultra-wide camera though, you get a much wider view, making it relatively versatile. However, the colours don't really consistently match. Detail and balance aren't the same as the primary lens either. We notice the shadows are darker and areas just generally become darker. It just gives the image a slightly harsher appearance than the main lens would. And the same is true when you switch on the macro mode as well. You're better off shooting close-ups by tapping the two times button on the screen and just moving a bit further away. Saying that, there is one interesting new nightscape option in that it's come to video mode. You can enable it when it's dark and it'll draw in a lot more light as you shoot your video. The result can be a bit mushy and lacking in detail when you move the camera, but it's pretty impressive how much colour can be drawn in. You also get plenty of versatility in video shooting, including an effective slow motion mode that works well in good daylight. On the whole, what's important here is that OnePlus has delivered yet another stunning example of fluidity and speed. And it's in a package that's reasonably priced too. And as long as you can get over some of the camera imperfections, it'll serve you just fine. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on social media. Let me know your thoughts there, or use the comments down below, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you like this video, and subscribe to see more. I'll see you again soon.